Okay, guys, hey, we're back at it today. Um, you know, when <laughs> I got some bad news this morning. I um, got an email about one of the small business association loans that I was hoping to get. And, um, I'm not totally not gonna get it, but it was kind of bad news, not what I was expecting. And I was just kind of faced with a little bit of a panic mode, and then it was, okay, now what? <laughs> right, we all get bad news at some point. The next question has to be, okay, now what? How do we move on from it? What's, what's plan B? What's plan C? What's plan D? As opposed to, it was easy for me to sit there and start thinking, okay, oh man, I'm in trouble, da da da. But I didn't let myself go there. I forced myself to say, okay, what's next? Okay, how do I move on forward? Same thing in life. You're, you're gonna get bad news. What's next? How do I move forward? Okay, so our shooting workout today, uh, we're gonna do everything backing up. Okay, a lot of people can shoot moving forward. I think it's certainly easier to move forward into a shot. Uh, we work a lot on moving sideways. What about moving back? You know, somebody penetrates and pitches and you're having to back up into your catch. So I'm gonna be very limited because of my calf today. So I may even end up, I'm gonna try and make it through this one, but it's gonna be tough. Um, but we're gonna do everything backing up, which means you really gotta sink down. Okay, and then hopefully get a lot of lift. I won't be able to get a lot of lift, so I'm gonna try and get more arc on my release and really focus on that follow through. Um, so we're gonna do a couple of partner things. So you'll, you'll need a partner for a few of these drills, and then we're gonna do some off the dribble as well. Okay, feel free to modify, do it from different locations. We're gonna do everything kind of just in one spot just so you can kind of see it from the camera angle. Okay, so we're gonna start with our warm up. Real simply, uh, our warm up is gonna be a lot of times what I see, a lot of kids that wanna get extra power will kind of turn their knee in. Sometimes if you turn your toes, I like a little bit of a turn. So here's, let's say I'm 12 o'clock straight away right here. I like a little bit of a turn, not too much though. Sometimes when we turn too much, we get that knee really kind of caves in and we lose a lot of our power. You know, some people do it, you know, when you're, when you're stopping, but I just don't think talking to my friends over here at Synergy Sports, uh, it's just certainly not something good that you want to do to, with your legs. So we're gonna try to keep our knees spread. We're gonna sit into a chair and not actually put our weight in, just touch the chair and come back up. We're just gonna do a few just to give you an idea. It's a great little exercise though, if you have one of those, those shots where your knee really bends in, okay? So we're gonna be in our shooting position, kind of up about close to the chair, right in our, what we call our point eight. We're just gonna go down, touch our butt to the chair and come back up, okay? Touch to the chair and come back up. We're, we're holding the ball ready to shoot, but we're making sure we don't get that right there. So down, touch, up. If you feel that knee wanting to cave, do a bunch of these, right? Do a bunch of these where you're down, okay? Touch and up. Touch and up. Okay, you get the idea. All right. So our first drill today is going to be with your partner, okay? And you're just gonna back up. We're just gonna do it from about the first hash mark back to about the elbow. We're gonna do six shots in a row. So I'm gonna go right side, middle, left side, right side, middle, left side, and then I'm gonna switch. So we're gonna shoot six in a row and passer, just give them a good chest pass as they're backing up. Don't wait for them to get there and then pass it. I want you to pass it as they're backing up so they gotta kinda stop their body, drop, and get into their shot. All right, here we go. Use your ball on this set.
Okay. It's cold in here. <laughs> I'm sure it's cold where you guys are at too. Let, all right, we got some friends down in Georgia. I know I've been watching some of these, so what's up, Georgia? I know it's not snowing down there. It was snowing about five minutes here. Um, all right, so next one, we're gonna slide back with a flip out, okay? So we're perpendicular. We're gonna slide lane line facing middle with kind of a sideways flip out. Slide, 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 drop, shot. Okay, here we go. So you're going to kind of turn towards the middle, flip it out, and a bit of a sideways flip out, two, three, four slides, and then turn, drop, shot. full speed and mix in kind of like make this like a defensive slide great
minutes, quick break. Okay, next set. Here we go. Now we're gonna do a slide dribble back. Same spot, kind of same layout we were just at. We're gonna slide up the lane line facing middle. We're gonna do a slide dribble, kind of pull that ball away from your body, keep it away from the defender, and then we're gonna turn drop into our shot. Okay, here we go.
Again here, feel free to shoot wherever you want, uh, distance wise as well as angle on the floor. We're, we're keeping everything basically 15 feet and in, mainly because of my <laughs> bum shoulder and bum calf right now. My shoulder doesn't really let me, it's not healed enough to shoot outside the three point line. Uh, and my calf, I'm not getting any lift. Bryce is staying in because he's working on changing his mechanics a little bit, getting his release a little higher. So he's working on closer shots for that reason too. So if you're working on anything mechanically, always stay in tight. It'll, it'll work itself back out there with you. But if you force it early, you're just going back to your old habits. All right. So next one, we're going to do a little rhythm between the legs dribble as we go back out. So just between, 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 into a shot. Okay? Here we go. Little ball handling work with it.
Let's get a break. Let's go work. So that one I felt like I had, I didn't make every shot, but I had good rhythm that, that dribble sometimes really, dribbling is such a rhythmic thing, that backwards dribble between the legs for whatever reason, that just gives me a real good rhythm. So a lot of those sh shots felt good. And remember, especially when you're backing up, that's gonna the whole point all these drills, right? Today is I'm backing up. I don't have that natural momentum forward into my shot. I'm backing up. I've gotta have rhythm in it, okay? All right, next one. We did between the legs. Dribble back. Now we're going to go slide dribble, backspin, and shoot. So slide dribble, backspin, and shoot. What was I talking about here, Bryce? Slide dribble, backspin, and shoot. We just did that. Flip out. Oh, spin, spin out of it. So we're going to we're going to um, slide dribble like we did earlier. Once we get there, we're going to spin out with a dribble into a shot. If you want to spin in just into a shot, great. We did a whole workout on spin, uh, spinning into shots uh, a few days ago. Or if you want to take that dribble and then step out and shoot it. So we're slide dribble up the lane and then spin. Experiment with your spin, you want to take an extra dribble out of it, whatever you want to do.
rest. Okay, so last drill. We're gonna go, we're gonna kind of backpedal from elbow to elbow essentially. This is a partner drill. You're gonna shoot five in a row from the same side. So I'm gonna backpedal, three, four backpedal. Bryce is gonna pass to me basically from elbow to elbow. I'm gonna catch. As I'm catching, I'm turning. I don't wanna catch, then turn, then shoot. I'm gonna catch and drop and shoot kind of all in one same motion. Okay, here we go.
All right, good work today. Um, you know, if if you're not shooting the way you want to, don't worry about it. You're, you're going to get there eventually. You put in enough time. I um, this morning I did a workout in the basement, and I did ten, three sets of ten push-ups on my knees. And I, I'm on, I'm about five months out of surgery, and um, I haven't done normally before surgery about a well I got hurt uh, February of last year, January of last year. So it's been over a year that I've been hurting. I used to do 250 push-ups a day. And for me to do a, a three sets of 10 on my knees today was awesome. And because I set that goal, I accomplished it without any pain for the most part, and I reached it, right? So set those small goals. You might not shoot how I'm shooting, but uh, I've been doing this forever, right? I shoot every day, I shoot a ton, I've, I've always shot a ton. Don't measure yourself to me, maybe you had that as a goal, but each day try to get a little better. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.